Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to debug and troubleshoot .NET Nuke by using the symbols files. Symbol files. Um, I have I have to give credit to Cathal Connolly. Um, I have watched a presentation from him just last week in the DNN world, and this approach helped me quite a lot already. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna record a video showing how you can do that. This is more geared towards someone that needs to support .NET Nuke platform well, so everybody. But uh, in a second, in a second uh, note, this is also very geared towards developers and you're gonna see in a bit why is that. So first is that let's, uh, Let's see how we can gather more information once or when we come across those strange errors, some errors that you come across in .NET Nuke, and the, the error messages are sometimes very vague and doesn't really give you too much of a pointer of where you should be looking for. Now, this strategy will help you, and it has helped me to troubleshoot things like those objects, uh, object not set to an instance of an object. And it usually can point you to the exact file, source file, and line that the error is being triggered. So again, if you are inclined, you can have a look at DNN, you have a look at the source code, go to that line, go to that file, and maybe try to figure out what's going wrong. You know, sometimes it's data, sometimes it's a bug, but again, this is the goal here. The goal is to present a strategy that can provide you with more information about problems that may be happening on your DNN site. Now, let's get this started. So let's log into the backend because the first thing that we need to do, and here's a test site. This is a DNN602. And let's just double check that. I'm just gonna log into the backend as super user. And because I need to make sure that I know which exact which GNN version this site is running. You know, so I can go to host, host settings. Okay, so from here I know that it's running DNN602. Now, why do I need that? I need that because now to to gather uh, more detailed information in the in the error in an error message, we have to download the symbol files for this version of .NET Nuke. Now, how can we do that? We just go to Codeplex, we go to .NET Nuke, um, Codeplex in Codeplex, and we find our version of DNN. So here, you're gonna get started on the homepage. You go to downloads. And then you're just gonna scroll down here and find our DNN602 version. So it's right here, I can click on it. Now, on the left side, I can see all the files available related to DNN602. One of those files is called symbol files. And that's the one that we need to download because uh, this package will have files that are the symbol files used in debug situations like those. Now, I have downloaded this file already. It's a zip file and you can upload it straight to your DNN site, just like you're installing a regular module. I will go in a slightly different direction just so I can really show you what is happening behind the scenes. So I have downloaded this file. This file is in my local system because my site is running from my local system as well. Okay, so here is the file. This is the zip file. I'm going to unzip it here. And it will take a second. Okay, so when we unzip it, you see that there is a resources file inside of it as well. I'm just going to... Make sure this is not blocked. And I'm gonna zip this as well to a folder with the same name, resources. So let's just wait a second. And here is, inside the resources folder, there is a bin folder. And inside bin, there will be two types of files. One is 
an XML file, XML files, and the other one is PDB files, which are which are the symbol files. So what we're gonna do now is just copying this whole folder with all the XMLs and all the PDB files. XMLs are not really necessary, I don't think, but definitely the PDB files, the, the symbol files. So we're just gonna copy this whole thing, all those files, and we're gonna paste inside our bin folder, inside the bin folder of our website. So here's our website. I'm gonna open the bin folder of this site, which is running on my, on my local. So here's the site, here's the bin folder. I'm gonna paste all those files inside my bin folder. And again, you might be using this via FTP, so you may need to FTP those files to your um, hosting provider. Okay, but I'm just gonna copy and paste here. So I'm gonna paste, and I'm gonna click yes, and everything was copied over. You should not have any, any problems in terms of replacing files, because if you have never done that, those files will not exist in your bin folder. So that's the first step. First step is done, copying the symbol files to your bin folder. Now, with the files, with the symbol files already copied over, how about we find a nice error to, to see this, this working? So here's what I have done. I, I broke DNN. I broke my DNN site. I did something in the database that would, that DNN would give me an error. And I did that on purpose just to simulate a scenario that we are having an error from DNN and we need to figure out a little bit better uh, what it is, where it is. Okay, so if we go here to host, host settings, this is what I did. I And that's what has caused it. It has caused the host settings to stop working. So you see an error here, but you don't see too many details. Our goal now will be, how can I, how can I know which file and which line number this error uh, happened from. Because this message doesn't give that to us. And even if we look at the, let's refresh this, even if we look at the admin event viewer, we see the exception, the, the exception that just happened. And if we expand, there's nothing here. There is no line number, no, no file name. There's just the, object reference not set to an instance of an object, which usually we, it doesn't have too much, you know? So again, how can we make this work? Now, first step is done, symbol files are in place. We have to do one more thing to be able to see a more detailed error message here. And what it is, is that um, we need to open the web config file of this site which I have opened right here. And I need to find the debug, compilation debug entry. And by default, it's set to false. I'm gonna set this to true. I'm gonna save the web config. I'm going to refresh the site because the web config was changed and it will take a little bit more time to refresh it. Okay, so we have refreshed the site. Now, of course, the existing uh, exception that is already there, I mean, there's no additional information here. What we have to do is we have to go through the page that is given our, the exception. We have to refresh this. And so the error can happen again. And hopefully you're gonna get more information. So right here in this screen, you can already see the file that we're getting the error from and the line number. Same thing if you go to the log viewer, if we refresh this, we're gonna see those details right here on the log as well. You see, file uh, file name, line number, call number, you have all the information here. So now, again, with your developer skills, you may be able to dig into DNN, dig into the source code of DNN and figure out what is happening with, uh, with your application. We're not here to solve this particular case. The point was, to see how you could pinpoint the file, the source file that had the problem and the line number. So this was the first part of the video, how to identify the, the file name and line number in, a, in an internal DNN error. 
Now, the second part of this video is about how to do that with your own modules. This is the end of part one of the video on how to debug and troubleshoot a DNN site with the help of the symbol files.